Well, one part of our online strategy is to listen to the audience as well as possible. And that is a value and, uh, and, it's, and it is of utmost importance on all the platforms where we function, be it on, on our own web pages, there are several of those, or be it on our social media platforms. I myself have a work experience on our news platform, Facebook, Twitter, especially Facebook. And I've uh, met a lot of uh, also hate speech and problems relating to that uh, uh, there. And um, through that I've discovered that it's important to take advantage of the situation that you can actually talk with your audience. Through that you can help your audience understand what we as journalists do better. You can learn a lot from your audience and, and if you don't engage in conversation with your audience, you kind of miss out a lot. Our work is in a rapid and constant change and, and this listening to your audience is, is a really important thing today, I feel. Well, it's kind of, um, you should always portray yourself in such a position that you really want to listen to what your people, what your audience is saying. They are paying your salary in the end. Uh, you have to respect what they have to say, but you also have to be, you know, straightforward when there is clearly misunderstandings of what comes to journalism. And you have to show that you don't tolerate certain kind of uh, behavior and you don't tolerate certain kind of language. Uh, uh, freedom of speech does not mean that you can behave in uh, whatever way you want to behave, wherever you want to. You have to respect other people. It's kind of like learning, a, well, perhaps a new form of dialogue in a way. Uh, it still is the same kind of dialogue like we are having face to face, but the challenge is that online we are not face to face and that brings a lot of uh, difficulties and challenges into the interaction there. And therefore you, therefore you have to be very careful with how you formulate your words so that people don't get uh, uh, wrong impressions of you, they don't misunderstand you. Uh, basically I would say that uh, Online communication with audiences is about listening to people and respecting their questions. You have to repeat things a lot. And uh, you also have to simplify things a lot. And this doesn't mean that our audience is stupid. It means that we are stupid if we don't manage to simplify our ethical guidelines and rules into such form that can be understood. This is what, it, this is what journalists' work is all about. Create that kind of information that is understandable. And our own ethical guidelines are part of that. If we don't tell the people how we do our work, someone else will take that space. and, and it's not in our advantage or it's, it's not uh, uh, the benefit for our audience if there is only disinformation or misinformation about journalism. Because I know that there are a lot of questions and also a lot of misunderstanding of how the journalist's work is done. So I kind of feel that today, when everything is about communication, we have to be much, much more open about what we do as journalists today than what we used to be before. It's really part of, uh, of the actual job today. It's not something extra that has to be done on your free time. It has to be included in your working hours to be open about what you do. If we don't show that we are taking online harassment seriously. We are not carrying our responsibility uh, uh, in democracy, I would say. You know, 
media's role is there to really tell about what politicians do, really bring out the facts, really show that we care about the dialogue that is going on in the society as such. Uh, if we don't take care of online harassment, it means we are not doing our job as well as we could. So it's a really important thing. And therefore our whole organization has to be kind of on alert all the time with this kind of issues. And um, we have to make it easy for the journalists to bring out this kind of stuff. If they meet harassment, whatever form it is in, or wherever it happens, that the journalists feel that they are safe here when they work for us. And whenever they have a question about relating to safety, be it online harassment or something else, they have to feel that they can bring the question out easily. We don't want our journalists to think that it's kind of hero heroic to uh, keep this uh, bad stuff inside of you and, and not complain about things. That is something of the past. Today is about openness. Be it us being as a company open to our audience, or be it openness for our own journalists, for their experiences with this kind of thing. It's all about learning together how to communicate better. It's all about dialogue, I would say, listening to people.